I'm pretty proud actually that that we have such a, a, a beer culture in Switzerland that not only like the classical styles that you know you can get a couple of hundred liters out mm. to the public, but also stuff that like takes years and barrels yeah. and, and, and such an incredible amount of effort to 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 get a, to get to the point where you're actually blending your belt. Where yeah, you're actually. Finishing it in a way that, for example, working with, with wine yeasts mm -hmm. is one of the things that, that yeah. Blackwell did as part of the collaboration uh, for, a, for a beer they're doing. And I'm amazed about the complexity that, that uh, especially if you're both using uh, like wild fermentation mm -hmm. as well as, as, as using, a, using a distinct set of like personally collected yeasts to do your thing that you know that at a certain temperature they're working perfectly and I think yeah. uh, in the case of Blackwell it's 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 rather warm mm. um, but at the same time you're really trying to get to a point where you're doing your own thing you know yeah. there's a signature I think there's there's actually one style of beer they're taking out of um, their range mm -hmm. just because it's the one that they're not using their, their general yeast, yeast strain on mm. And that's why, for example, they, they're doing a Blackwell Pale Ale that is not a classical pale ale, but because of the yeast they're using, it's, it's, it has this slight funkiness to it. They do funky pale ales and IPAs, but I love it. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. Oh, the Macri Saison. What's this we're drinking? This is, uh, this is actually an Ensemble Blanche from white wine um, barrels. I mean, it is actually not cold enough. It's a little bit flat. I don't know why. Yeah, it has that same finish to it. I can't work out. It's slightly yeah. herbal. I, I know yeah. it's got obviously bits in the bottle there. Yeah. That is not a good sign if you have bits in the bottle, right? Oh, yeah, it's a lot of sediment there. What is happening here? So that's oh. stuff that has not been filtered out. Yeah, they're not filtering anyway, but... Uh, yeah. There's sediment in that's, That is not the best sign. No, I'll make you go to the toilet in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're going to try the other one. Sure. Um, but that, I mean, they're still really small. They started when a year ago, two years ago. Yeah. And they already produce some really good stuff. Yeah. And they so have so that, much stuff in the pipeline now. So, so much barrels yet to age. A few problems or so. Mm -hmm. but there are. It's a real great pair of brothers yeah, they have, owning they have, it. They have too much stuff on the bottom. I don't uh, know where that comes from. One of the brothers built their whole bottling line uh, from scratch. And, oh, wow. And the other one is uh, uh, working for a big pharma company, doing all their biotechnology uh, um, quality control, basically. Never. So you got a guy who's collecting his own yeast mm. uh, from nature, from local yeasts, and then blending it into uh, the Persec yeast uh, blend to use for all their beers. So they have like their house blend of yeasts that, that he spent a lot of time cultivating. Uh, uh, cultivating yes. What is this beer? This is Wind Wild IPA. It's a uh, hoppy farmhouse with wild yeast, non-filtered. Um, it's actually too warm, but you can taste it. It's, it's one, one of the, the very few hoppy beers of Blackwell. They're trying to grow their own hops, actually. Yeah. Hoppy, they use hoppy so funky. I'm glad I saw them. Yeah, I have to say. It's nice because it has a good body to it. It's 6.6, .6 definitely. Yeah. It has that farmhouse slight spice to it. Yeah. I know it's funky, but it has that. It's well balanced, I have to say. Mm -hmm. well, it's very interesting for that. I actually think they're, they're, just sold, they're, they're just selling shares now, I think. Name, name shares. But they completely own every, everything about their, about their So they, I think they need to buy new equipment or so that they're selling shares. They're just trying to expand. They're, they just try, they're just trying to expand. They're making sure that if they're producing for a, a market overseas, that they still can produce the thing that they're now producing uh, yeah. from the output uh, yeah. locally. Mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to get uh, to be the most sustainable brewery, actually. Yeah. And their goal is to have a Zero restaurant well, they're sourcing all of their um, barley, all of their molds, all of their hops locally, first of all. Um, but Swiss, uh, Swiss, Swiss mold sucks, but I know, or heard, the quality is well, really Well, they, I mean, they have their Swiss sources, brewers, it seems, the that, that, they are, okay. uh, that are respectable and that the amounts they're needing for now are not in, in 
big commercial quantities. Yeah. Um, the, the styles they're using are not heavy on hops, for mm-hmm. example. This so is that, my that favorite one. Into You've tried out of all these Swiss brews, this one. Okay. It's got a bit of warmth at the end, this is quite nice. But not boozy. No, the nose is funky. It's, it's really well balanced beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll send you a sample pen. And you can pass them on or try them yourself. Yeah. And, uh, it's very well balanced. Uh, it's, it's tasty, it's good mouthfeel. It does everything it says on the tin. Good beer.